Tasmania is a wonderful place for producing sparkling wine. Every vintage is different. It keeps it interesting, exciting. You always need to be adapting to what the next season will bring and no one season is ever the same. Tasmania is a very special place. It's unique in a lot of ways. It's very, very separate from mainland Australia. The climate is so different. The maritime influence, being an island surrounded by water, the climate is really moderated. Even though we are very cool, we never get extremes of heat, we never get extremes of cold. So we have this fantastic long ripening season that gives us beautiful, elegant, delicate flavours. Tasmania has a stunning wilderness area, national parks, beach, the beauty of the natural environment, but also the harshness of that environment produces a sparkling wine with such depth and character. Making sparkling is a long game. It's not something for instant gratification. You have to imagine what unripe grapes are going to taste like once they turn into a base wine, and then imagine when you blend those base wines together, what they're going to taste like after at least 18 months, and sometimes three years, five years, or 10 years in the bottle. That's challenging and very rewarding when you come to the end of it. If you look at the way Tasmania has evolved and sparkling winemaking in general has evolved, particularly over the last 10 years, there's a great maturity of different styles. They can sit on the bench as an option to any other sparkling wine from around the globe. It's a very long journey from growing the grapes to the finished moment when the cork goes in. It's generally around about a four to five year process with a lot of steps on the way. It does mean that you can set your own stamp on the style because there's a lot of steps you can tweak. Most sparkling winemakers have a distinct style that you can almost tell who made the wine. The end of the sparkling wine process is what's called the traditional method, which means the wines are aged in a cellar for about three years with the yeast in the bottle. Then we do the disgorging, which involves putting the bottles on a riddling rack. We twist the bottles to get the sediment down the neck. Then we freeze it, pop the sediment out, top it up with a shipping liqueur, cork it, wire it, and it's a finished product. We're looking for the beautiful lemon acidity that the Chardonnay can contribute and then the lovely strawberries and cream that the Pinot Noir underneath that Chardonnay is able to further contribute. When you open one you'll smell the bready yeasty character. They'll be very pale and on the palate they've got good fresh acidity, plenty of tang and very fine bubbles on the tongue make them very refreshing. All the things that you'd expect in a great sparkling wine. Tasmanian sparkling has a purity, a freshness, that line of acidity that gives you amazing longevity, that sets it up to age with its yeast leads to give you complexity that you just can't get anywhere else outside of this state.